know, which is probably most of you. Um, I had a knee replacement two and a half weeks ago, so if I'm looking like I'm drunk up here, I'm not. <laughs> I just can't walk super good. <laughs> um, all right. So legislative updates. Before we get to our speaker, I know we have a couple people in here that are running. Oh, I guess I should turn this back on. We have a couple that are running, including our own Rebecca Davis, who is running for JP in District 1, which is part of Little Rock, Roland, what am I missing? A little bit of Mill? No, just the county, um, Roland, and then uh, Frederick County. Ferndale cut off. So if you're in those areas, please talk to her. She's a very conservative woman that we need on our Pulaski County Quorum Court. If you have never been to a Quorum Court meeting, we have um, five Republicans, I think, right now. They're all men. Um, nothing wrong with a man, but I think we need a woman's voice. The, most of the Democrats are women, and one of the challenges that they have is even coming back saying anything to one of the women. So they're very uh, quiet when it comes to them. They won't push back. They won't, well, Rebecca's not that way. So I've hung out with her for a while. <laughs> Question. Can you tell the group that's here what a JP does, what the responsibility is? Because to me, a JP traditionally is somebody you call and say, hey, will you marry me? Yep. So most people are familiar with um, city councils where your city council members sit on a board that basically makes this financial decisions for your city. The JPs are the same way. They sit on the quorum board, they make financial decisions, they set budgets, they decide if a new subdivision is going in an unincorporated area. They can affect your life greatly, especially if you live in an unincorporated area. In most states, they call them county commissioners. Yep. So they are very similar. If, you, if you're familiar at all with a city council member, that is what they do, but they do they handle the county business. They take care in Pulaski County. They're over our detention center, um, the budgeting for our detention center, and our uh, sheriff's office. So there's a lot of budget decisions that get made by our JPs, and currently we are sitting at 10 Democrat and 5 Republican. So. Uh, do you have a... a no? Um, are, are you running unopposed or no? No, I have two Republicans quote unquote primary me. One of them became a Republican last month and the other one gave Mike Beebe $2,000 for his campaign. Um, so I'm the only true conservative who is running in this race. And we've seen a lot of that lately. I kind of pushed back on a few people about whether the Republican Party was vetting candidates. You know, several years ago, we flipped over to Republican in 2010, but prior to that, we were a Democrat state, and there was a lot of Republicans that ran as Democrats, that's the only way they could win. Well, I think the same thing is happening a lot now. So you have to watch. Just because they got an R behind their name, you better ask them questions. Um, I can vouch for her. We've, we've had enough dealings, but I can promise you she is conservative. She's probably really far right, like she's way over there. <laughs> um, the other person that we have is Chris Powell, who is running for Hill Township Constable. And you're in a primary race here. Are all of your constables running? I have a couple. In there, right? um, it's a, primary I'm in a four-way primary. Woo! <laughs> yeah. So I'll, if you want, and there's a, a Democrat in the general. If you want a couple minutes, just tell them who you are. Sure. That'd be fine. Sure. I'm Chris Powell. Um, I've lived in Arkansas all my life. I've been a Republican my whole life. Um, you didn't register last night? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Um, uh, I'm the press secretary for Secretary of State John Thurston and for the State Capitol Police. And uh, I know Constable's not an office you hear much about, um, but it is a, a position in the law enforcement community. And uh, with the liberal law enforcement uh, leadership that we have in Pulaski County, I felt like we needed a conservative voice to speak out on some law and order issues that are not being properly addressed. And so that's why I'm running. We've got to get people in involved at the local level all the way up. So um, if you have any questions, I'm here. My social media uh, and website are on the flyers that I passed out. And if you didn't get one, there's one uh, over here with the other uh, papers. And I'd be happy to talk to you again. And I'm sure both of them can stay around too afterwards if you guys have any good questions you want to ask. Um, all right, so we are up to, I know, um,